Okay, this morning we're going to be reviewing the uh, Asus Zen Drive I received from Amazon a couple of weeks ago and finally getting around to uh, reviewing it. And hopefully you'll enjoy the video. Again, like if you like, uh, and if you dislike, you can indicate that as well. So let's get right into it. It's a, a very basic um, new addition to the Asus line, but it's great for the uh, modern uh, computers or laptops that do not come with the DVD drive. Uh, like this is my Samsung notebook that I use primarily. I have others, but... Over the last four or five years, very few of the uh, computers actually come with the DVD drive because everything is internet-based or more uh, portable. So let's get into the uh, opening and uh, we'll see how this works out. What's great about this product is you will need it if you do a, I don't know if you store, if you burn, uh, or if you just need more space or you want to watch movies or whatever the case might be. But what's nice about this product is that it is compatible with either Windows or Mac. I've got the uh, Windows version. Um, and again, it's pretty straightforward. It's, it's a disk drive. Uh, and it works very well. It's very sleek. I like the design because uh, uh, it gives you a nice trendy feel. Packaging is straightforward. This is the contents. You have a uh, two cords. One's a... Uh, for your USB uh, port, and that connects to your uh, drive right there. And then this one is for your for you uh, Mac users. It's got the uh, the Type C. It's got the Type C uh, plug, and you'll need that to plug into your Mac. Then you've got your instruction book manual, pretty straightforward. Then you've got an installation disk. You'll need that. Um, very again straightforward and there's some more instructions on connecting to your Mac or connecting to your PC how to burn files etc so this is what it looks like let's take this off what's nice about this it's very lightweight and it's very compact about the size of a, a disc and it's designed for those of you who like portability Portability, efficiency, and you don't want bulky uh, peripherals. The drive that I'm replacing this uh, with that I use for many years, and it's still very good, is a Sony, but it's very bulky. This is great because I can, very lightweight, I can move it around, stick it in my bag, and keep moving. I can take with me to various meetings or vacations or trips, and I've got something that's kind of out of sight, out of mind, but will give me the disk drive capability that I'm seeking. Uh, so let's uh, install it, and then we'll see what that looks like. All right, I have uh, I have loaded this on my computer under my USB port. I've opened it, so you can see what it looks like right on the side here. Is your on and off switch pops right out, and then you can see on your computer that it registers right there. So very straightforward, very lightweight. Perfect if you are going to be burning files or doing other applications. Uh, I'm going to open up two programs for you that you'll see how it works. One would be the uh, ASUS support page, which has additional drivers that you might want to tap into. Again, something, those of you that are used to doing uh, burns or uh, other disk drive applications, you know how to apply this right away. You just simply go to the product and you look for your drivers right here drivers and tools and let's see if this works for me right here you go down there and my operating system I'm gonna put 64-bit windows and presto there we go there there's my drivers that I need to download but again you've also got the application disk so either or you'll be off to the races and this will be working like a champ for you. Uh, so now let's take a look at the interface that comes with it so you can see how this actually helps you uh, uh, move to your bottom line. It's called CyberLink Power to Go. So when we open that up, okay, those are the things that it allows you to do. So you can uh, do a data disk drive, you can do a photo gallery disk, your system recovery, 
copy dish, dish utilities. It's perfect. It's ideally suited for those of you that want to have a uh, have a di have a DVD drive, but it's not built into your system, so you use it as a uh, as an accessory item. And here's your options. You you go there, and then it'll you know you just simply specify this how you like to use your products, where you want your files downloaded to. Uh, if you want to run the desktop desktop burning gadget at Windows Startup, I did no. I clicked no because I don't need the extra headache. I want to be able to load up my computer real quickly. And there's the capacity, database, language, just some very basic uh, applications that you'll need. And it's the power to go. And that's pretty much all you need. So once you insert your disk that you want to burn your um, information onto into the disk drive, you'll go into your library right here. And whether, let's say if it's... Um, photos or data or whatever the case might be you simply apply it and again if you're used to burning <clears throat> it, it, you'll be no stranger to what you see you simply just move the files from the drive that they're in to the storage space for your burning uh, capacity and then you just press go and presto this uh, is very very fast see it's a basic DVD drive that is perfect for any of you people out there that have uh, modern computing but you don't have a DVD drive and you'd like to have one that you can use for storage or burning so you can't go wrong with this product I think it goes for about 30 bucks or so on Amazon but it's well worth it again if you're into computing and you have a lot of data or a lot of information and you want to store it uh, and protect it then this is a good investment because it will allow you to have something that's very modern and you can use it again for uh, Windows or Mac. So that's my review. Hopefully you enjoyed it again If you liked the video click um, Like if you dislike you can click that as well. And if you have any questions uh, Feel free to uh, apply them to the link and I'll try to get right back to you. Thank you for watching and uh